Well, that looks interesting. I think I should get it. So Kim Kardashian is currently selling this $130 concrete trash can on her skincare brand's website. And I did what any normal, not sane person would do, and bought it. And you may be wondering, Ian, why did you buy a $130 trash can? Isn't that a waste of money? Well, no, actually maybe, but that's besides the point. I didn't do this just because I wanted a lighter wallet or heavier trash can. Instead, I was thinking, why don't we get this and turn it into a pool pond? And well, flash forward to now, a few weeks after I bought the thing, it's arrived, I've yet to look at it, and really have no clue what to do other than unbox it. This thing better be in some good packaging considering I bought a severely overpriced trash can. All right, here we have the box. Once we open the box, some paper, then we see a white box in the brown box. On the front of the second box, it says Skin by Kim, and that's the company's name. Drum roll, please. Oh, styrofoam. Fingers crossed that it's good, but I mean, it's a concrete trash can. I don't really know too much what we're expecting. Okay, here we have it, a concrete trash can. Trash can is out. It's in this nice paper packaging, random piece of plastic in there. Don't think I'll need that. Let's take this off. Wow, how is this $130? So this is my current trash can that I bought from Dollar Tree. Here's a side-by-side -side of the trash cans. Both look like you put trash in them. So now you guys are probably wondering, Ian, what are you gonna be putting in this trash can turned pool pond? I was thinking we'll do a layer of substrate on the bottom, then a decor piece in the middle of the substrate, pre-filtered fish water, and then an air stone. Now, for as far as what type of fish I'm gonna be putting in the pool pond, drum roll please, goldfish, probably just two goldfish, very, very basic. Now, I feel like I need to say this before we get any farther in the YouTube video. The goldfish that are gonna be in this pool pond will just be in there for the YouTube video. After the YouTube video, my friend has a goldfish pond and I'm gonna be releasing the goldfish in there so they'll live a happy life in a private goldfish pond. So I'm gonna be using this porch area as the dedicated pool pond spot. Now, I currently have some gravel in my room, so we'll go get that in a second and we'll be putting that old fish gravel in there. Now before we go back inside, I currently have some mealworms out here and the chickens are just right down there, so why not go say hi to them? Chickens! What is up everyone? As you can see, the lizard is still green, but let's give him some mealworms. Now headed back inside to grab the fish gravel. Here's the gravel. It's a blue color and I think I'll use this green plant as a decor piece in the middle of the fish tank. There's a bucket with all the fish decor, and now we're also going to bring this bucket over. And in here, pretty much, I have some pre-cycled fish tank water. That way, we don't have to deal with dechlorinating the water at all, and we know that it's already cycled and good for the fish. Time to move some decor into this trash can, soon to be turned pond. The first scoop of fish tank gravel to go into the pond. That one scoop of gravel covered a bunch of the pond, or as some would say, trash can. Let's add maybe one or two more. All right, that should be about good. The air stone is going in next, that way we can use the green plant to cover it up. Oh, that's cool. The bottom of the air stone matches the gravel. And now for this plant. All the decor is now in the pool pond. It looks questionable. That's a good way to put it. World's first concrete trash can pool pond. Well, at least the first one made by Kim Kardashian. I doubt anyone's ever done this before. Looks really interesting. Can't wait to get some fish, but let's go ahead, put some water in it, then we'll head to the pet store for the fish. Agua. Now that we have water, let's turn on the air pump. Three, two, one. It's nice to see we now have movement in the water. The air pump's working great. Now let's head to the store and get some goldfish. One minute, 37 seconds later. I just got back from the pet store. I got two small Comet goldfish, and right now we're just gonna go ahead and stick them in the pond and let them acclimate to the right temperature. Now, when I was at Petco, I also got some fake plants that we're gonna be putting in my 40 gallon community tank. So I'm thinking when the fish are acclimating, why don't we put the plants in the fish tank and then we'll come back, the fish will be the correct temperature. We'll let them go into the brand new concrete pond and everyone will be happy. This is what the 40 gallon currently looks like. We have some blood parrots, angelfish, a placo, Cory catfish. These are the two plants I got. I'm gonna go wash them off and then I'm sure they'll look good in there. The first plant is going in. 
I think I'll put it somewhere in the back corner and then maybe we'll take out that old one. It's been in there for a few years and it's really, really old and I haven't been able to clean it. I think that looks good. Now let's put the second one in. I'm just gonna go with this back corner. The fake plants look great. Now let's get back to the concrete trash can outside. We are now back outside, time to move these fish into their dream concrete trash can temporary home. All right, fishies. First one in. And the fish are now in the pond. I think the goldfish have thoroughly enjoyed their time in the concrete trash can goldfish pond, but I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to my neighbor's house in a second so they can be in a real goldfish pond, have room to swim around, and be happy fish all together. And on that note, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Chickens! I finally finished the YouTube video! Aren't you guys so happy?